This is Autogrock and it's beta version 54220. I got some grief for using 11 labs to narrate these videos, so I'm using my own voice this time. It's still 11 labs though. I have Parkinson's and for boring logistical reasons, 11 labs is easier. I made Autogrock after wrestling with Autogen to create a team of agents. I mean, how do we know which agents to create if we don't yet know what problem they should solve? Autogen and Crew AI want you to put together your team before you know what their assignment will be. But that's not how the real world works. At the office, the boss first comes forward with a problem to solve. And if nobody at the office is qualified to perform a specific task, a contractor or additional employee is added to the team. So that is what Autogrock does. Autogrock looks at the problem and, and then creates the specific tailor-made expert agents required to solve it. Agents can talk to you, the user. They can talk to each other. They can plan projects, benchmark timelines, write code, and more. And thanks to our friends at Grok, they can do it fast. Really fast. Here's how. You'll need an API key from grok.com. Go to their cloud playground and click on API keys. Click the Create API Key button and name your key whatever you want. I'll call ours demo and hit Submit. Then click the copy button, save your key, and we're done here. Let's head back to the demo site. Paste your API key in up here. We don't validate keys, so you'll get this message no matter what. But you need a working key, so be careful. Then select your model from the drop down. You can switch back and forth from one model to the next at any time. Then dial in a temperature. The farther to the right, the more creative your agents will be. To the left, they become more fact based and pragmatic. And that's it. We're ready to get started. I'm going to ask Autogrok to create an online random algorithm generator. And there we go. A couple of things happened there. First, our prompt got re engineered and now reads. Design a web-based tool that generates random algorithms for a specified problem domain or programming language, allowing users to input parameters and receive a unique executable algorithm in blah, blah, blah. This new prompt provides the actual instructions our new agents will follow. And you'll see our team of expert appeared here on the left. If you wanted to, you could stop right here, open up Autogen, and hit the ground running on your new multi-agent project. Here are our agents. They are fully configured and ready to be imported into Autogen. I'll link to one of my earlier videos below to show you how to do that. And importing workflow files works the same way. We also create downloadable Crew AI files, which are more fundamental, but should be enough to get you started with your own team of AI agents on that platform as well. Now, if you don't mind hanging out for a few more minutes, we've got a lot of other things to show you. Autogrok allows you to test drive these agents by chatting with them, having them talk to one another with just the click of a button. I've asked our project manager to chime in. They've come up with a pretty comprehensive reply, project plan, scope, and even a very pessimistic timeline. By the way, Autogrok is faster than you see it here. I've had to program in a two second delay with each request to avoid violating Grok's policies. In production, this thing will really fly. And there we go, our project manager has revised his projections from weeks down to days. Well, from 16 weeks down to four, so yeah, that's progress. We have the ability to load small CSV files for the agents to discuss too. If you're familiar with Python, you may know how this week's features sometimes don't work as well next week. Anyway, this is one of those. It's hit and miss. Play with it, but don't count on it. Let's get some feedback from other members of the team. There are three display modes we can use to view the information generated by our agents. The most recent comment, the whiteboard, and the formatted display of the entire discussion. LLMs tend to pay the most attention to the first and the last bits of information they've been given. That works out well for us. It means that our goal and the most recent discussion will get the most attention and consideration. That's a lot like the way human conversations work too. Here's our programmer's feedback. Any code they've written is copied to the whiteboard. In the future, I hope to give our whiteboard the ability to execute and validate code. Lastly, here in our discussion history, you'll find all the text neatly formatted, the code is color-coded, and it will even draw tables for the display of data. It makes it easy to generate reports on any project in real time. Next, let me show you this week's new feature. Those of you who have been with the project for a while will appreciate this. 
It's the ability to edit our agent's properties just by clicking one of these gear icons. This is the description that AI created after analyzing our revised goal prompt, but now it has a lot more information to work with. It can read our entire discussion and modify this agent according to the comments made to them, as well as their replies. Clicking the Regenerate button expands upon our agent, resulting in a more robust and detailed agent tailored to the exacting specifications of our project. So if you hung around this long, you probably want to know how to install Autogrok locally. First, go to GitHub and click this button to copy the path to the file archive. Then, from an empty folder in a command prompt, type git clone and then paste in the path we just copied. I'm doing this in the Conda environment. You can use Conda or a Python or a Docker environment or none at all. If you don't know what any of that means, you probably shouldn't do it. You do have to do this next part, though. There are three supporting libraries you can install all at once with the pip install r requirements.txt command. If your screen fills up with all this garbage, congratulations. Filling your screen up with garbage is a good sign. Yay you! I'll show you what you just installed. If this video is a few weeks old, you may want to make sure these version numbers are up to date. Then just fire up VSS code. Finally, launch this stream lit command to fire up our main.py file. And voila, as my people say, my French Canadian people from the Canadian part of France. Make sure you set up these environment variables. Your API key numbers will be a lot less blurry than mine. Anyway, that's what Autogrok is, that's what Autogrok does, and that's how you can do it too. This thing started out as just an agent generator. But thanks to everybody who liked and subscribed, I was motivated to keep running with the ball. There's a lot more to come. Thanks for watching.